Hey everybody, we're back with Allison Roman, the author of Nothing Fancy and Dining In, advice we all need right now, Allison Roman. Okay, Allison, I, I have a professional question for you. My niece yeah. gave me some uh, starter dough. For, so, <laughs> uh -huh. You know, some, some, uh, some uh, sourdough starter. That's so nice. Do I have to refrigerate it? Yes. Oh, well, God. when you feed it, when you feed it, you want to leave it at room temperature so it can, it can feed. It needs to be uh, at room mm -hmm. temp for that. Yeah. In a cool place. Um, but otherwise, you would want to keep that in your... How long has it been not refrigerated? Let me see that. It's been not refrigerated for like uh, 48 hours. Okay. It's not moldy. Uh, I would feed it. Did she give you... No, no, no. But it can lose, it can lose activity. It can die. It can, so what... I, I hate to tell you, but you can kill it. Can I just, do I just put flour in there? What do I put in? No, no, no. <laughs> what do I do? Don't laugh at me. Hey, no mockery. There's like an actual, this is the problem with people making sourdough at home all of a sudden because people are out here in the streets just throwing flour into the starter, leaving it on the counter at room temp for 48 hours. It is lawless. We are living in a lawless time. What am I supposed and to do? sourdough. Well, there's a mixture of flour and water that you need to add to a percentage of that starter. I'm gonna refrigerate and it's like it. by weight, you need a scale. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna refrigerate it. You know it. Honestly, I'm gonna refrigerate it. Do you have your pasta ready over there? Can you show the people what I was supposed to have done? Okay, so this is what you were supposed to make. The other camera, the middle. <laughs> there you go. This is what I did make. <laughs> and this is what I did make. Oh, that um, looks amazing. Now you're gonna throw a little, is, little sharp cheese on there, a little Romano or Parm on oh, there? When I wrote this recipe, I actually decided to not include cheese because I feel like the sauce, with all of its saltiness and the anchovies mm. and the olive oil, um, it didn't really need it. And I felt like doing a sprinkle of uh, parsley and raw garlic at the end was actually much better. And I stand by that. Stand your, stand your ground, Allison. Yeah, I feel like not every pasta needs cheese. And I am the first person to say like more cheese, more oil, more whatever. But in this specific instance, I feel like it doesn't actually need it. And I think that it, what it does need is a bit of raw garlic and parsley for freshness. And there is my, there is my jam ready for any situation right there. Oh, it's so good. I would, if you're gonna store that for a while, well, first, make sure you take better care of that than you did your sourdough starter, RIP. I'm afraid that's uh, all we have time for, <laughs> Allison. <laughs> Maybe you cover it with a little film of olive oil just to kind of preserve the top layer. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is, I didn't mm -hmm. chop my garlic. You didn't but. chop it? Okay. Ooh. Oh my oh. gosh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I know. Ooh. <laughs> I made this entire bowl of pasta for myself. That's good. <laughs> for you... a party of one. All right. Perfect. Um, well, <laughs> Allison, this has just been a joy. Thank you so much. You're a joy. This has been so fun. Thank you for having me. Allison Roman is the best-selling cookbook author of Nothing Fancy and Dining In and a columnist for the New York Times. Everybody, please thank Allison. Allison, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Thanks for having me.